What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, this is part four of this power dynamic series that I am making. And this is going to be about losing power naturally, how you lose it, how the things you do are detrimental later on and how they're kind of hard to um, dig back from. But of course, we're gonna show you how to prevent it, what to do um, and things like that. So if you have my guides, okay, or you're part of my newsletter, you can get both down below. They're free. Um, well, not the package of guides, but the newsletter where I talk about a lot of this stuff is. Um, I talk about uh, sequences, okay? I talk about sequences, and I talk about a thing called the negotiation. So in, in dating, what I call dating dynamics, um, what a negotiation is, it's the actions and words, right, that you allow, that you are agreeing with, okay, that dictate the overall atmosphere of the relationship. So let me give you an example of this. If you have sex on the first date, there's no reason a guy shouldn't assume that this is friends with benefits. Now, it might not be. You might correct him later on, right? But at that moment in time, you know, it's, it's safe for him to assume something casual, okay? That's why you don't want to do it. That's one example. Now, let me give you an example where you guys are kind of playing things out, but you are agreeing to friends with benefits, okay? So let's say you actually like the guy, you guys are talking for two weeks, and you guys are hanging out, having fun, hooking up. You've seen them maybe three, four, or five times, having a good time, you just had sex, you guys are cuddling, and you're like, hey, I really like you. This is great. I like where this is going. Yada, yada, yada. You know, where, where, where's your head at? I want a relationship. However you want to say it, right? Don't say it like that, but however you want to say it. You're basically bringing up the talk. And he says, oh, wow. Uh, well, I like you too. I think you're great. I want to continue this. I'm just not in the headspace for a relationship right now. Maybe in the future. Now, you could walk away and say, hey, you know what? That's fine. But I don't know. I don't think this is fair to me. It just doesn't make sense for me to keep doing this if you're if you don't know what you want. And you can be a high value woman and walk away, or you can stick around and say, "Oh, okay, right." And then you hoping uh, he changes his mind later on down the road. Now, agreeing to stick around is agreeing to friends and benefits. Why? Because you are saying. I want a relationship. He basically said no. And you're like, oh, okay. And you stick around anyway, continuing what you guys have going on. Now, of course, you can counter that a little bit with sticking around and not giving it to him. But then that just creates a lot of tension. It's like, well, what are you doing? Whatever. But you are agreeing to friends with benefits pretty much. That's another reason for negotiation because your actions, right? Your words are, I want something exclusive. Okay. But your actions of sticking around prove otherwise. It's safe for him to assume, right? That this is friends of benefits because I said, I don't want one, but you're still around. Okay. Or I don't want a relationship, but you're still around. That's a long way of saying all this. So the trap a lot of women fall into is making the wrong decision, right? There's going to be blocks, like pivotal points throughout the relationship where you either make the wrong decision or the right decision. And when you make the right decision, things are going to go accordingly. If you make the wrong decision, things are gonna blow up in your face. So I made a very clear, let me get on this side, a very clear example of this with the second date, okay? So second date comes around or second time seeing him comes around and you have two options pretty much to go on the second date or he says, Hey, come on in an alternate universe. Hey, come over. Let's cuddle. Let's blah, 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 blah. Right. And you, you come over and cuddle. Now doing that, if you remember from my last video, it creates two timelines. Basically, I hate to say it like that because it sounds corny, but like two alternate, like, again, the, the best way to put it is like the butterfly effect, like two alternate universes, okay? Two alternate things going on. When you do the right thing and you're like, no, that's good, I don't wanna go, I don't, I'm not really a cuddler on the second date, that's a little too fast for me, and you guys agree to the second date, well, it unfolds correctly. You go on the second date, you have fun, right? Um, have fun, you build a connection, build connection, okay? 
and then you know you just continue along your way on how things should be if you cuddle early okay now it's you you you, you entered an ingredient what i call a variable of friends with benefits so what's going to happen is he's going to try something okay and even if you were to deny this right the thing is like this is the new what they call through line let's put through line here meaning like th this is the new sorry i thought something fell this is like the norm now like you were comfortable enough to cuddle with him so why would he try to go back and do this if he could just go like this and try again okay we're gonna put try again like that's what would happen now if he tries again and you correct him right say nah mother like no that's i said like no that, that's not what i want this to be and he likes you and wants a relationship again this is the negotiation that sets it up back here and you can follow the sequence accordingly okay that's how it's supposed to work that's what a lot of you try but i don't think you all know where you go wrong or how to get it back here because it's a renegotiation when it goes back here you know this stuff happens and then he tries to bring it down to to, to here again or whatever or again he's going to try again like that stuff happens so what i tell women is let me erase this i get uh I'll keep it up for now what i tell women is you want to have a, a ratio right kind of in your favor meaning like 60 percent of it should be like relationship stuff hopefully you can read this over here can you let me see can you read that relationship stuff 40 percent is like the the physical right so what that means is oh, i do gotta erase it let me, let me put it like this right you guys are gonna like this because i have this in the newsletter um, if you're interested in that, links down below. I talk about this a lot more, right? So there's a sequence going on. Boom. I'll fill this all in. Bear, bear, bear with me, ladies. Boom. Boom. Right? There's a sequence going on, okay? Where, you know, it's a date. This is what you want. You want the date. The, the I don't know, like more relationship things more I'm just, I'm just gonna put variable relationship variables right like whatever these things are you want relationship variables now what ends up happening is he's going to try to speed through all this to get sex okay he might try that and when it when it happens so casually and so easily for him, like let's say every time you guys hang out and you have sex, he's going to try to cut out like these things. He's going to try to cut out these things. So for example, if, you know, instead of going on a date and taking you on the date and having a good time and building a connection, if you guys do this enough, right, he's going to try to cut it off. Let me, let me draw right here. He's going to try to cut it off and just text and say come over okay to get this now the way you pre th this is okay at first i'm not you have to balance it out again 60 40 you have to balance it out this is okay to do you don't want to be one of those girls who want to go out on a date every fucking time you hang out and stuff like that like sometimes it is nice to go just chill and cuddle and things like that whatever that and go over his place that's cool but as soon as he's trying that too much you have to re-enter like you have to bring this part back okay and the way you do that is by by not giving him the the like what he's looking for okay like intercept it here boom date i hope this makes sense you're all probably like what the fuck is all this right right and then you kind of like complete the process again if that that's the renegotiation again think of it as a negotiation because if you guys are just um the, the human mind goes towards the path of least resistance if he doesn't have to do the entire sequence okay if he doesn't have to do this entire sequence of uh, we'll put sex here okay of like taking you out on a date doing boyfriend things you know consistency that's not how you spell consistency but whatever 
<laughs> oh, Ryan Fast. If, if he doesn't have to do these things, he's not going to do them. He's going to pivot down here, try, I'm just going to put try or attempt, okay, maybe with like a text, hey, you want to come over, hey, you want to hang out this weekend, or I was thinking about just staying in, you want to join, whatever, to do this, okay? That's what he's going to try. When a woman does this a lot, okay, she, when she does this a lot, it, it lowers her value. Not, he, he takes you for granted. He takes you for granted. Like That's what happens. He ends up taking you for granted. The way you have to get it back, again, is boom, boom. It's basically bring up like a like date. Like if you want, if, like basically treating him like a damn dog, I guess is the best way to put it. You got to treat the motherfucker like a dog. Boom. To, to re-enter this whole thing again. Right? And if he does what he's supposed to, like the good little bitch he is, okay, then he can get the sex. As long as he does this, he does this, he does this. This is a negotiation, right? And when I talk about these things, like dates, um, consistency, boyfriend things, these are what I call variables, okay? These are what I call variables. Uh, we'll put variables here. Thank God I'm not a teacher. Holy shit. Variables, right? Variables are the things that you could control the, um, in, in the sequence that kind of creates the context of what is happening here, like what this is. So, for example, we'll say friends with benefits versus, um, I don't know, fucking boyfriend, like girlfriend, like relationship, right? What does that look like? Um... Inconsistent. That's not how you spell consistent. You know what I'm saying, though. Um, mo mostly sexual. Lack of investment. Investment. Sorry. Right? Like, these are all variables Sorry, that are happening in the sequence, right, that he's trying to he's trying to create. So the overall thing is friends with benefits. Do you see that? That's what he's trying to do. Boyfriend, girlfriend is completely different. There is consistency. Let me spell this out so you actually know I know how to spell consistency. There is consistency, right? It's not just sexual. Not just sexual. Right? There, there is investment. There is investment. When this stuff starts happening, okay, then, again, the sequence, when this sequence starts happening, then the whole thing is boyfriend, girlfriend, okay? That's what this battle basically is, ladies. It's, it's, you're negotiating the variables of a relationship or of a, well, a situationship that can either be this, right, what he wants, or what you want, which is this, okay? That's what it is. It's all negotiation, and it all takes place in sequences. And when the sequence is so powerful or so much in his hand, right, it, it's really hard to get out of. So let's say, I mean, you can always get out of it by saying no and, and like, walking away or being done with it, but that's a lose-lose. No one wins, right? So... If we're doing this for a while, and these are all his that benefit him, like friends of benefits, okay, and you're doing this for a while, boom, 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 boom. Like, you know how hard this is to get out of now? And why is this hard to get out of? Because it's power dynamics, meaning, like, his mind, you have to understand, his, like, when he sees all this, when he sees all this, he has the power. Like, two reasons why he knows this. Number one, you, the the average person is not like the average woman is not going to go through all this bullshit unless she really likes the guy, okay? Like she's not going to go through all this bullshit unless she was manipulated or tricked or not even that. It doesn't, it doesn't even get that far. A lot of the times it's women just lowering their vow. My most famous saying is besides you know if a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. My next most famous saying is that. Um, 
the trap a lot of women get themselves in, I'm rephrasing it here, is the fact that they like a man so much that they fear losing him to the point that she lowers her standards and hopes to keep him around. Then he takes advantage of her and she wonders why she's in the situation she's in. That's exactly this. There is no reason for him not to assume you like him if you fell for all this bullshit, right? That's number one. That's why it's really hard to get out of. Number two is he's going to call your bluff. Right. Okay. Like, yeah, you might walk away. You could walk away, but we know that's not what you want. Cause if this whole thing took six months, okay. And he's a decent guy for the most part. Like you do have a, a good connection. He's just kind of like low effort, uh, not investing his resources. He's mostly sexual, but he's a decent dude. Like he's going to call your bluff. Like when you try no contact and you try all this other shit, um, he's not, again, he's not just going to be like, Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Let me just exit all this out of the way and, and, and I'll be your boyfriend. Do all the things that you want. No, he's in a very good position. So he's not just going to chalk this up, no pun intended, and, 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 and do your thing. That's not going to happen. He's in a very good position. Now, a lot of women will say, well, if he really likes me, he would. Yes and no. If he really likes you, you wouldn't have to go through all this bullshit. You would be boyfriend, girlfriend right now, right? Boyfriend, girlfriend, but you're not. So the question I ask women is why the fuck you still around, right? Which kind of reiterates what I'm saying is, well, if you're still around, then why does he have to change? You're not fucking going anywhere. So it doesn't really matter if he likes you or not. You're not, you're, if you're going to stick around and deal with this shit, oh fuck. And again, this is not healthy. This is obviously not healthy. I don't think men should do this. I don't think women should stick around with this. And if a guy does like you, you will be boyfriend, girlfriend, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about power dynamics. That's why it sounds very unhealthy. But yes, women, if you're going through this process and it's not favoring you, leave. Obviously you shouldn't even let it fucking go like this you, at, at something like this. You should be like, I don't know, like what's up, bro. And bring in that thing where I say, okay, you know, you got to enter your thing to restart it and go over it with your shit. Okay. Like that's kind of what happens because if you're not boyfriend, girlfriend after all this, yeah, something's up. Okay. So the key of all this is prevention ladies, or you could just get my guide and get my newsletter down below. I talk about power dynamics, what men want, how to tell if a man really likes you, how to filter these men out. Again, all those guides down below. If you want my high value guide, that is absolutely free. If you want my newsletter, which goes, like, these are like 3,000, 4,000 word newsletters, right? 3,000 words. Like these are very long in depth about one particular um, uh, topic each newsletter. So I have one on emotionally unavailable men. I have one on power dynamics. I have one on texting. You'll get those every week. Okay. Which will, um, go more into detail on this stuff. So ladies, if you're interested, links are down below. If you want to work with me, links down below. I love you all. Take care and peace.